When Time Rider recently announced that he was hosting a Bone Shaker event, I knew exactly what I wanted to build. I wanted to take the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker casting and merge it with the Hot Wheels Mid Mill casting. You see the two castings there on the screen now. I've wanted to do this build for a long time. You see, Keith over at Outlaw Speed Shop, gee, something like, I don't know, four years ago, did what I still feel is one of his best builds, which was a combination of the Hot Wheels Science Friction casting and the Hot Wheels Mid Mill. It turned out fantastically. And I'm proud to say that I actually own that, <laughs> that custom that he built because one day I saw it for sale on his website at a ridiculously low price at that. <laughs> and there was absolutely no way I was gonna pass it up. And if I had to guess, he probably still regrets selling that casting. <laughs> but anyhow, I loved the way that looked. And I thought that kind of combination of the mid mill casting back half would look fantastic with the bone shaker. So I've had this in the back of my mind for a while and I just never got around to it until now. So there you see the pieces of the mid mill coming apart. The bone shaker, I've got apart at this point already, but the way it comes apart, you have to take that scoop off the back half before that center section will pop out. It, it's, it's kind of a puzzle in a way. <laughs> so there you see the front half of the bone shaker, you know, it's stripped at this point. And uh, I drill it out and drill it, tap it, put a screw in it. And uh, because of the length of this video and, and I try and show a lot of the stages, except for some of the, the detail painting, there's probably going to be some uh, lapses in the commentary and I'll just let music play in those sections. Let the video speak for itself. But uh, since the engine's in the back of what I'm creating, I need to close off the engine sections in the front of the bone shaker. So I end up doing that with styrene.
Now I did tack the styrene pieces in place using CA glue, but you know me. <laughs> I have to get JB Weld into the mix. So I do my usual, you know, tape on the outside of like the hood opening there. And uh, I put C or I put JB Weld on the inside, not only to fill in that opening, but also really strengthen those side walls that I've added to the front end to close off basically where that exhaust was coming out on the bone shaker. Now that I have the front half looking kind of sort of the way I want it to look, I had to figure out the back half. Now this was pretty clear as to where I was going to end up cutting this. I popped the back wheels off just to make it a little easier when I go to cut it. That I'm naturally replacing the wheels on this thing. But uh, it was pretty obvious I was going to cut it just right in front of the engine and then merge that back half with the front half of the bone shaker. I needed to cut those two pieces at the same time that you see there so they would be nice and flush. Now, like I said before, you know me, and uh, while I use CA glue to tack these pieces together, you know good and well, once I have this the way I want it, and that's the nice part about just tacking these things with CA glue, even though you can't really see it that well there, you kind of get it where you want it, and then you get serious. <laughs> By serious, I mean you bust out the JB Weld and reinforce the heck out of this thing. Thank you. 
There's all kinds of posts on this thing. <laughs> Even the post in that scoop that uh, hangs over the roof of the bone shaker. You know, that that's a metal piece. I don't do anything with it other than clean it up a little bit. I just like the looks of it. Uh, I didn't want to chrome it. I didn't want to paint it. I wanted that bare metal look. I did use a self-tapping screw at that point. I later put a regular uh, screw into it. At this point also, it was time to strip the chrome off the plastic pieces. So there you see the front half of the bone shaker, the back half of the mid mill. Those drop in. The front half of the bone shaker, you notice is still completely intact at that point. I haven't trimmed it to fit inside that modified front end until now. This took a lot of trimming. There, there was a lot of trimming that uh, I do off camera, trimming, filing, just to get this thing to fit inside of that modified front end. Now there you see it after primer. And I'm really liking the looks of it. And then it's time to get everything nice and smooth. I wasn't sure what color I was going to paint this creation. I was actually thinking it was going to be light blue with some numbers on it, and that kind of thing. I even mentioned that to my friend Mario. And uh, then I realized, I looked through some gasser decals I have laying around. And I had these Grinch decals from Second Chance Red Lines. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna paint this thing lime green. That's color shot green that's on there. 
and throw these Grinch decals on it. And I like the way the Grinch hand comes out of the front wheels towards the back of the car. And then the Grinch wording appears on the door. I just, I love these decals on this. And then to add a little more to it, I ended up putting some stripes that I had laying around. I'm, I'm trying to reuse, or not reuse, but use up a lot of the things I have laying around here. Basically because I don't want them to go to waste and also I'm cheap. <laughs> so it's kind of like, well, what, what do I have that'll work on it before I buy something else or print something else? And so it's kind of taking just kind of scraps that are laying around to do this. And, and those second chance decals, I think, were perfect for this thing. We are ready for assembly. I love the color shot rattle can with the twist green. The wheel swap I think looks good. Here you can see how much I had to narrow that bone shaker uh, center section. And uh, I think it all came together well. After spraying that color shot green on there and then applying the decals, once they had dried, I covered that with the color shot rattle can clear sealer that they have, clear gloss sealer. And uh, I couldn't be happier with that paint. So now it's a matter of just <laughs> screwing everything together. There you see the scoop going onto the engine section that I painted a lot of detail on. I painted the, the center section of that engine with the uh, aluminum chrome rattle can paint that I've used before. Um, I like the way it turned out. It's not a super chrome look. I think it's a very realistic look. That center section fits in there uh, nice and snugly. And you know when you've seen me do these kinds of customs before, I like still having them be pieces that go together, if that makes sense. It's it, being assembled as if this is, was the way it came from the factory. You know, just the center sections, the base, the top. It's a metal top, plastic center, plastic base, the two halves from both vehicles. And then that back engine section from the mid mill drops into that back half, just like it did on the original mid mill. And then it screws into place. A lot of details I added off camera, like the little wheelie bar, small, tiny wheelie bar wheels back there. A little bit of silver, the detail on the engine. But all in all, I couldn't be any happier with uh, this build. And this thing is low. And you'll see that in one of the still shots. It rolls wonderfully. But it's low. <laughs> so there's where we started. I'd like to thank Time Rider for hosting this event. Uh, finally got me around to building this thing. Everybody, Time Rider has mentioned he's going to do a recap video of the cars in this event. And he's going to be awarding prizes, I believe, based on votes on that recap video he does. And I believe that recap video 
I think is coming out on April 19th, if I remember correctly. And that'll be over on his channel. But uh, here you have it. Be sure and check out all the other builds in this event. And uh, I hope you like this one. I'm really glad I went with the Grinch. I, I like naming builds when I can. And I've kind of uh, drifted away from that recently. But uh, like Scrappy the Shop Truck. You know, I like that this one's the Grinch. So I hope you like this build. Um, there's some glamour shots coming up. Everybody, thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.